Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Heartswarm 4 Modern Day Vatican City and it's time. We have to do it right now. It has been so long before we had any kind of war that we actually had to fear any big losses. We are preparing the biggest invasion I've probably ever done. Well, at least in this campaign. Yeah, actually, I sh yeah, that's that's a bit overstating it, actually. Yeah, it's probably the biggest one I've done in this campaign, at least. We need to invade Canada and United States. I think we'll go straight for Canada. Just really try to take over this area and then slowly push down this way with... Ta or... That's actually a very annoying invasion point. No, we are going to land in Florida. Yeah, Florida is much, much better. So from Greenland... All the way down to Florida and we shall swell among the United States provinces and states. Just slowly work our way ourselves up right here. Bring everyone down. Including then Canada. But Canada can be a second. Well, a second target. Uh, let's see. We have, we, have, we have more than enough military factories for our every need. We have billions in equipment. Well, we're missing motorized, but that is because we went over the maximum limit. So it actually turned around and we got minus 2.5 million or something. But that's also 100% fine. We have enough. We have enough troops. We have enough everything. All we really, really need is now a good invasion place to begin from. Uh, we currently have how many divisions right here? 15. And you're taking... About half the half the supply right now. Uh, where are the rest of you? Actually. Oh, right, right, right. We also have garrisoned this area. No, we haven't. Why are you not being transferred up here then? A bit weird, but I won't actually complain. I must have done something. Never mind. So, um, yeah, we are pretty much ready. We're just waiting for Vatican or Greenland to build up to their glory. Tons of um, new ports. We have upgraded infrastructure maximum. We have anti-air. We have air bases. We have radar. We have everything we might need. Well, I do we have the level 10 forts yet? Well, yes, we do. So, v Greenland is basically an unpenetrable fortress right now and we sh they, it shall continue being so um you are now moving good but um not yet actually not yet please return right here uh i can actually deploy a couple more units right here let's grab you 11 yes move you over the rest of you 31 i want four of you to just go in and take iceland it feels kind of bad that they haven't joined our empire just yet. They must be longing for it so much. And we have been de denying them that for such a very long time. Let's see. Do we have any spare ships? We should. At least. Uh, North Sea. Let's ignore you and add one right here. And let's ignore English Channel. And let's add you right here. Cool. That should basically be enough to support my units. Uh, why are you not assigned to that line? Yeah, no one is assigned. Uh, let's assign 8 units then. How's the supply right here? It's completely fine, so that shouldn't be any problem. Ooh, one thing that could maybe be a problem. Now we have level 10 ports right here. Uh, just for safety reasons, let's add a couple more and let's make sure that infrastructure is perfect. It's perfect. We might need some level 10 ports right here and uh, let's also fix the infrastructure right there cool i'm just i just want everything to be as perfect as possible for possible supply transfer and everything that might be necessary i don't want anything to break i don't want anything to mess up our raid of united states i don't want any mistakes i don't want to forget anything everything should just be smooth sailing well except for the intense fighting when challenging the uh, units of the United States. There shouldn't be any, well, let's say, infrastructural <laughs> or <laughs> infrastructure problems. There shouldn't be any supply problems. The only thing that should be a problem is their troops. So, let's just continue with the cleanup. Meanwhile, we are preparing for the bigger invasion. Um, come on. 
I'm pretty sure I declared war upon you. I should be able to move into your territory. Weird. Anyway, bye bye. That was one nation. Let's see, you are still in the way of my great name, yeah. Let's see, you are in the way, uh, why is there... Oh right, we have this small, very very short, sh well very, let's say squeezed nation right there. Uh, we also have, oh, you have sent volunteers, which means basically no justification time. That's awesome. Uh, had you done it? No. And have you done it? No. Uh, European Federation. Alright. If I press on you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop messing with me. Yeah, check faction map mode. I don't see any other green part. Oh! Wait. You, you never joined anything? Oh, you probably kicked out once again. Uh, I don't see any other green enemy aka being in the European Confederacy okay who else joined you so okay I will have to search for you oh right here how could I miss you uh, I am um, yeah let's find some troops you are five right here really I don't have any spare troops I don't actually think I m have it so let's at least begin this justification it's gonna take 50 days uh, all my well actually yeah, let's just grab all these tanks assigned right here and then split it in half Yeah, sure half is way too much, but better safe than sorry They might be able to break one. Yeah, I know <laughs> It's not even a safe and sorry. It's just co winning against them with complete Might they shouldn't be able to stand and even look upon my units. They should just fall beneath them So we have a oh god that's taking way too long. Let's just mark half of these and assign them. And that should be much better. Yeah, three more days. Will four units be enough? It all depends on how much defense you actually put up right here. You have three units, but uh, hopefully, well, England or no one else haven't actually put up any defense for that. All right, we still have a couple of, na pretty, couple of pretty, pretty big nations right here. That we might have to finish with. Uh, we also have Japan. Oh, so we have a quite a bit left, actually. The United States, Canada, Brazil, Mexico, Australia. Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of episodes left. I was really touched by someone in the comments when, when I said, yeah, I might just, I finish off the United States and then we call it. And then someone wrote this amazing comment that, that was, um, I haven't watched here. And I haven't been here and watching 17 hours of Vatican City just to see me, well, chicken out and not show the last episode. Well, I can't say no to that guy. So I guess we'll just have to play even more. I might fast forward it because he said that was acceptable. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. First of all, we have a, at least 5-6 more episodes. Where we just clean up the biggest nations right here and then we'll see what happens so yeah this was kind of what i expected lots and lots of reinforcements so uh, right here air zone 1000 fighters let's find some really good tackle bombers and let's see if we can assign them right there you don't have range my dear fighters you don't have the range but actually, you have range. You definitely have range. Really? How do you not have range? Uh, seems like you actually have to be upgraded. Okay, let's just find the most upgraded version of fighters I have. Uh, let's see, generation 4 multi- Oh, wait. No, that's still fighters. Tornado. Haven't I upgraded lost kind of airplanes I have? I should have. Uh, let's double check. Let's unselect everything except this. And they're called. Yeah, Generation 5 Mark 1. Why can't I find you? Is it just even more scrolling that needs to be done? <laughs> I think so. We have just captured so much equipment. It's ridiculous. Uh, Gen 5 Multiro. Oh, they. All might actually be assigned to other places. You probably have closer range. So let's just assign you right here. 
And that went extremely quickly. And you have range, yeah. Of course, I knew you would. So, hello Iceland. You are holding my troops up. I can't accept that. I guess you will just have to embrace my nukes. And cool, they are all but wiped out. Let's just take over the last part of the island and you will be greeted as, well, I guess heroes or something. Finally finishing off one of these two. Uh, it would be nice if we could finish off these two islands too, to be honest. Uh, let's see, let's throw you over right here. Uh, let's split you up in two. Actually, I can remove you and split you up in two. I'm gonna assign half right here and I'm gonna assign half, half right here. Assign our oh, extra fighters, you already have the order. Let's split you in two. Let's sign right here and right there. Very good. And let's take two units. One unit from here to there. Assigned and let's see one other unit. I might have taken the one again. Let's just grab something for safety uh, from here. And then let's grab from there to there. Very good. And assign you. Cool. Just remove all possible weird invasions they might do from these small islands. It has happened before. Let's just remove them and be sure about that we're actually safe. Okay, how many more days before we can declare war on you and further increase our name? <laughs> further increase our name size, basically. We're declaring war, removing nations from the map, just increase the great name of the Vatican City. God. I still like this. I still very much enjoy this campaign somehow. It's it's a bit laggy. It's taken a very long time. Still increasing from our, well, 930 population big city right now. Well done. Actually, did I see correct right there? We have three recruitable people in Vatican City right now. We have grown so large we haven't actually need to conscript the men from the Vatican City. They're finally, finally worthy of some rest. And you're staying at home. You're worth it. Whoever you might be, you three guys, you have earned it. So, right here we're gonna invade there. Wait, 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 what? I'm pretty sure you fell. Okay, no, uh, let's see, Norwegian C, Norwegian C. I want to select both of you. Assign right here, cool. So you somehow recovered. That's not acceptable. So, removed from the map. I expected you to just die, but somehow you survived, so I guess I have to just remove you completely. All right, here we are gonna declare this war, thank you. European Confederacy, call your ally in, call your ally in, come on, call your ally. Cool. And now, exit order, and remove both at the same time. And cool, that's both of them, an X and an X, and turn done. Excellent. So, Serbia. 10 days. I like that. So all my troops just get back right here. We have Arabian Republic. We have... Oh, you are just... Oh, Kingdom of Jordan. You are actually sending volunteers. Excellent. I'm really glad when I actually find nations now that are sending volunteers. That means quick and easy targets. Uh, let's see. Somalia land. Oh, oh here. Kenya, you are sending volunteers. Excellent. Uh, oh! Stealthy. That's really, really stealthy. I just need to look for the capital cities, really. So no one can avoid me. That's going to take 20 days unless I bring you down first. How many more days? No more days. I like it. Let's just declare the war. I like how it calculates now. It takes a while for it to recognize this. Or more like add that nation to the war. 
It's ridiculous, really. We're at war with so many nations. Having a peace queen of this size will <laughs> will take such a long time if we, if the game doesn't really crash when we try to have the peace queen, if we, we ever get one. Uh, let's see. Actually, we will get one as soon as we bring down the United States and Canada. Uh, let's just fight against you. Cool. Um, or actually, is that still everything that is necessary? Yeah, still only United States and Canada. Uh, these two units must be ready right now. Wait, we're missing. Oh, yes, we are missing. Uh, let's see. What can we. Oh, right, we can remove this C zone. Uh, let's. Come on. Select fleet. Remove C zone. Add C zone. Find troops. Execute order. And for safety reasons. Wait, we're still not done. Somehow they managed to send even more units right here. Okay, Iceland. I'm gonna bump a couple of things for you. Actually, that's all we can do. We don't have supply. There we go. Some troops disappeared, but yeah, you don't have supply. You can't actually escape that island. This is like the stuff I don't want to happen up there. Uh, yeah, you're just continuously, you're gonna kill both my units if you get any second, any sparingly, sparing second to actually well defend. And my troops are not ready. They're not here yet. <laughs> so you will actually expand quite a bit, but my 60 tanks are on their way and are gonna completely obliterate you once they arrive. Uh, these two units, you are on your way. So I guess we just have to split the units we currently have. Oh, you actually assigned to another C zone. Select all or air zone. A tiny bit weird, but all right. It's fine for me. Let's remove you first then. Come on. Let's take the island for me. Oh, did I just obliterate my own unit? Maybe I did. No, 57 units. That should be everyone. I think I just obliterated my own unit. Completely. Or, no, it's you. It's you. Yeah, it's you. you just disappeared in the smoking screen. <laughs> God, I, I, like, sure, I can be a tiny bit cruel sometimes, but I usually don't nuke the crap out of my units so much that they disappear from the map. And you managed to pull back both of those invasions. That's kind of sad. But both those islands should now be clean of... Actually, they are not clean of units. Really? All right, then, let's just regroup and do this one more time. And you... Well, you don't have anything. Come on. Just give me one port in three more days and we can finally take Iceland. Yeah, th these are kind of the stuff I want to really avoid once I invade. To make sure there are no problems. To make sure that we have everything we might possibly need. Remove them from the map now. Actually, are we just destroying our own ports? No, we're not. Cool. So they only affect, yeah state level buildings everywhere not actually individual province level which is really good so please just grab that province now and we can be done with this you are gathering up for another invasion all right cool so my new order or my new plan is to do something like this first of all we can actually clean up this this i don't think it really matters one two three four so around 20 nukes right there and then we're gonna select these airplanes that are right here, assign you right here, and do the same thing right here. Hopefully the game won't crash once we make two balls of light. And let's have my troops land right there. Sometimes you grow tired. You don't want me to grow tired of you. Good that you took the islands and actually, well, advised and um, or not advised 
that you actually accepted my terms of surrender. Yeah, that's much better. Accep good that you finally accepted my terms of surrender. And you. You dared to hold my territory under your control for a short while. Let's remove you from the map because of it. And you are once... In you are now invited to the great Vatican City. So, we have a couple small nations left. Let's see. Uh, I think these two might be the ones left, along with Liechtenstein. <laughs> Uh, come on, let me just... Okay, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Select here, justify. That's gonna take 50 days. The same thing with most other nations. So, let's begin with the one that most likely takes the most room. So, every, every tank division, gather up right here. And my advance order is gonna be, well, all provinces at the same time. Cool. Vatican City. Come on, I just want you to stretch over like this. I'm gonna be so much happier. And all these small nations can finally rest easy. But no, 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 no. You gotta take the most slow way possible. So, how is this now? 113. That should be enough for my Titans who invasion. Everyone get over there right now. I, or actually, remove all possible orders you might... Oh wait, that was wrong. That was definitely the wrong one. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, you're supposed to be right here and invading this nation. No, no, no. I, that's not what I want. I want offensive line. No, I want offensive line in all provinces. Cool. Uh, what I wanted was these units. This Just remove all possible orders you have and then, well, garrison Greenland. And we also have some additional troops right here. So 35 units right here. You're currently needed 23. Let's just add this island, this island, and of course Iceland too. Actually, we could add the Greenland too, but let's not do it now at least. Cool, very good. Everyone should now be moving. Well, why are you not moving right here? Everyone, come on, shop, shop. Get a move on. Uh, I don't. Yeah, okay, you're going that way. How about you? Yeah, you're also moving now, finally. Very good. And we are pretty much ready for the invasion. Everything should be built up to maximum. Yes, there are. This is a perfect island right now. Let's see. How many divisions can we use for invasions? It should be much, much more than 60. Yeah, we can definitely use every single unit we have right now. So once everyone has arrived, I'm just going to set up everything. And that's going to take a very long time. Probably 120 days plus to just prepare the invasions everywhere. But that's going to be... If it's going to take 120 days for all invasions, then it's going to take 120 days for all invasions. And I once again messed up with the tank division. That's why I once again had to redo the orders. Come on, <laughs> I wonder where my tanks are. So you were traveling to a random port somewhere. Please get back here. <laughs> you somehow went to Cyprus. A small vacation, I guess. Come on, let me just select this. All right, let's just take a long way then. Uh, another, well, 20 days, that's not too much. Three dockyards, yeah, we don't really have to see these modifiers. Still, it's nice to add them right there. Hmm, we have very low taxes, so we should be, get, be able to get quite a bit of national unity, but this just proves it even more that they're still looking the crap out of me in areas I don't see. Sad face. Oh, right, South Africa. I never made anything against you. Uh, let's grab that, then two wars in 20 days. Kind of sounds like a movie. Around the world in 40 days, but I have two wars in 20 days. That works. God, you have actually a lot of units right here. How many units do I have I signed? 24. Um, are my titans going to be enough for that? Let's double check. Yeah, you're going to be enough for that. So, 24 versus 120. Cool, almost 61. Will be interesting if you survive. Uh, we have just enough supply, awesome. Uh, a naval invasion is right, right here. Uh, hopefully you will be defending that. Uh, one of these units are moving around, alright. Oh, they have actually invaders right here too. 
I wonder how many people who said that and like, Daniel, you're missing this, you're missing. Ah, I should be fine. I think my units can actually clean this up without me doing anything. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, well, the Republic joining NATO before I actually can declare the war. Or will you still give me the honor of declaring war? Yes, you will. And let's please remove this. Pause, come on. Aggressive, execute order. Let the game tick again. Let the games begin. And let's remove you from the map. Very good. Very, very good. So we could send down reinforcements. Or you could start, well, going around Macedonia and, well, just try against you. Oh, that's going to take 150 days, right, because that's going to count as my second war goal active at the same time. So let's wait one more day before South South Africa is going to be dealt with. Very good, let's see. You're probably going to join NATO as soon as one day ticks by or one hour ticks by. Come on, come on, very good. And now, execute order 66. Oh, right, we actually had an opening right here. Ah, uh, seems to be fine anyway. And, but what's not fine is actually my invasion. You're getting beaten back quite handily. I'm gonna assign three units right here. Those three. And I'm also gonna take, let's say, 30 divisions from you. You just reinforce this front. Because if you were to push back my units, that could be quite annoying. To be honest. So you're gonna stop your invasion. You're gonna hold until reinforcements arrive. Hmm, cool. First time I actually need reinforcements. I was completely stopped, and that's by South Africa. How will it go against United States then? How will it go against Canada? Probably not that well. So I really need to be careful. Good, good. Lesson learned. Lesson learned and shall be taken into account for the future wars against greater nations right now. You have, uh, yeah, 120, 38 military, well, 350, 360 probably, and 300 factories. So their divisions are probably much better too. So where's my additional 30, 30 tanks? Yeah, they're on the way. Very good. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do to speed everything up? Well, we can at least begin planning the invasion. So I kind of want half similar stacks. Maybe 15 divisions each should be fine. Actually, we only have four. Went to one, two, three, four. Yeah, four invasion points. So, well, 60, 60 split by four is 15. So let's grab 15 invasion points. So I want you right here. Let's see, I want 15 other units, 12, 1, and let's grab, actually, let, let's grab 17, unselect two of them, and then you assign you from here. Uh, I want you to be pushed right here. Yeah, sure, these are marines, but if they're meeting resistance, well, then it, can't, it doesn't really matter that they are marines. It will still be quite hard for them to break them. So I'd rather take, well, be safe rather than sorry. Just take open provinces where we can really make sure to use our advantage. And this larger group will be a bit, well, lesser since we're missing two units. And perfect. The last spot right here. So if you all prepare, it's going to take how much? 105 days, days each. We're going to deploy our entire fleet right here. Yeah, cool. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really, really good. So uh, yeah, be ready. Be ready and prepare. We could always, well, I guess, retake some of these islands. We took a very, 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 very long time ago while we still were allied with NATO to basically station some airplanes. 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 What the hell is that? Airplanes. Actually, it might be necessary. Do we own any city? Oh, actually, we do own a tiny island right here. That might be enough, uh, just for safety reasons. Uh, I'm gonna take a tank from here. 
Uh, you, congratulations, you've been promoted. Or, well, I don't know if it's a promotion. You will probably not see it that way, but I will see it that way. I want you to get here, somehow. Uh, you're gonna get the level 10 fort, you're gonna get a 10 coastal fort, and a level 10 port. So, if you can get it right now, congrats. If you can't, well, we'll see. Uh, yeah, you can't get there right now, so for now, please just move to this province, since it's probably much, much quicker from here than, well, from here to take the boat. Uh, let's see, outdated equipment, modern Gen 5 MPA, oh, yes, where's Gen version 6 here? Some really good naval bombers that we're probably never gonna use, or actually, why not use them right now, while we're waiting? Uh, let's see, where is our air force? Right here. So, MPA bombers. Where are you? Hello. Where are you? Please reveal yourself so I can bomb my enemy's navy. There, there we go, there we go, here. And generation 6, mark 1, right here. Let's take 1,000 of them, and let's just deploy them right. Actually, we don't have that that long a range. Uh, still, right here we have perfect range. So let's just do naval strike right there. If we ever if we ever attack navy right there, which we probably will. Actually, we should start preparing for it. I think. Let's see. I still want some kind of defense right here. So I'm gonna do split. Select this one, split you again. I'm gonna assign, let's see, a half decent commander. Actually, you, a level 4 one. And then I'm gonna take the one. No, I'm gonna take you, you, and you. No, wait, 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 this is wrong now. What the hell is going on? Wait. I was supposed to have 125. Okay, just everyone gather up right here. What the hell are you for some for I don't know what but I used you for something at least okay everyone gather up I want to split I want to take this one and split once again select that one I'm gonna give you a commander and yeah so it's still fi yeah it's still 50 you idiot Daniel <laughs> and then unite you in 162 and you are gonna start well cleaning up the sea Yeah, that should definitely be enough. Cool, very good. So let's see if we can strike down the US fleet. Oh, well, the Canadian fleet at least. So yeah, there we go. First, first blood, second blood, and we're gonna continue doing it. Very good. Uh, we are just fine war against someone uh, that have complete. Actually, we ha are not doing it. Uh, reinforcements have des definitely arrived here, so let's execute this order and let's also execute that order actually not all reinforcement had arrived still it should be enough let's just continue pushing right now uh let's see macedonia we have not started justifying justifying because we were justifying in south africa and we didn't want that extra penalty on us well justification penalty time so please everyone what's going on you guys yeah, you're very slow to actually charge in. Please, do. Okay, at the same time. What's your problem today? Alright, let's just then redo it. Let's not execute before everyone is ready. Because apparently you seem to have some trouble with it. Where's the 24 units? Are you 21 right now? Yeah, you're 21. You have lost a couple of units. Kind of sad to see. But well, stuff happens. Okay, let's unite, let's you spread out and then we'll charge in. How many how many more days before you are actually ready? It's another 70 days, so uh, better than I expected at least. We're gonna go to war with them next session. But everything is now ready and built and we should be doing quite fine. Uh, you have a port right now, so why are you not moving? You are moving, very good. Let's see. Lanchester, uh, you are signed in New England. Let's see if we can just pull you over right here. 
And let's find something else too. Yeah, here's a pretty good mix. Let's just send you over to from Lapland. Uh, a republic, very good. Let's just annex you. Thank you. And uh, come on, are you moving? Oh, you actually, you're trying to invade me right here. All right, oh, this division might actually just be caught. Well, you are good enough, so if you meet anyone, just use your tanks from... Oh, you're invisible. Hmm, cool. So just use your tank and rocket artillery from the convoys and just destroy any kind of fleet. That could probably work. No, it wouldn't. That's just my propaganda telling them it might work. So they are full of spirit. You are kind of bad leader, really. I should probably assign the best one I have for this invasion. Yeah, I probably will. Let's see, where's my tank? Actually, you will manage to get over the entire Atlantic Ocean and survive. Cool. Uh, we only have defense right here and right here. So yeah, you went a completely undefended path and arrived at your location without any damage taken. Oh, in before they're getting killed right here. They're probably going to get killed right here just because I said it. No, we're safe. Cool. Very good. So, we have planes over here now. Yes, we do. Do you... Please, range. God damn it, I heard the sound. I was close my eyes. So, yeah, my fighters don't have enough range. How much of range do you have? That is the difference. Uh, yeah. 10,000 kilometers and you are only 2.0 or 2.7 ah, sad to see well we can't do much about it well we could always invade something closer but yeah like that's gonna happen uh, why are these plants looking so weirdly down here no wrong map mode only uh, let's see that's done this is done we are ready for anything all right this how's this going Please, come on, really, you're gonna hold against me for this long? Alright, we never executed the order once again. And you, you're executing order too, very good. But you are really standing against me. I'm impressed. I'm disimpressed, so I'm actually gonna give you a good reward. You're gonna be forcing me to use my, well, nuke tactic. Congrats, I salute you. Sign everyone right here. Oh, you actually have a pretty decent air force right there. Uh, my air force is gonna still destroy you completely, so we'll see what happens. You are trying. You're really trying, but slowly, steadily, we are going to destroy you. Our air power, well, we're 1000 more air power than you. So yeah, we are gonna wear you down slowly, but steadily. Enemy bombers lost 500. Pretty goddamn good. So. Declare war. Against Macedonia. So let's see if you have Alexander the Great. Otherwise you are pretty much doomed. God. Good day for conquest. Good day for conquest. Macedonia. Say goodbye. If you're not also going to stand against me and once again shame me. So yeah, it was basically only their air force that pretty much prevented us. But you were still shaming me for quite a long time. I'm just telling you, uh, I've been telling my viewers, yeah, we're going to conquer them, no problem. Six to one, my tanks are godlike, and then you held against me. And that, well, that insult can't be accepted. So we're just going to give you, well, a short nuke or a small nuking penalty. Obvious, well, six of them. You should be honored. Just a tiny insult. And we're very graceful in your defeat. Only six nukes. So remove them right here and remove these people right here. Very good. And that was South Africa. And there is Macedonia. Very good. Even more air dogs joining our squad. And our name is look starting to look pretty swell right now. We have to remove, let's see, Kingdom of Jordan and Arabian Republic. And then it might be actually just these three nations. And we'll have... Oh, actually, four. 
Gambia too. So after that, we'll probably have a pretty big ass name. Anyway, guys, um, next episode, invade United States and see what happens if I mess up once again or if I actually will succeed with something I have been planning for a very long time. I always seem to fail somehow. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.